Okay guys, welcome back to another video right here on the Two Bros Gaming HD channel. So back in Thunder 2019 and we're gonna go ahead and do some gameplay today. But as you probably saw by the thumbnail and also by the title of this video, we have some new mods today which is really, really good. And it is actually just John Deere 6000 series right here. So this is from Johnny, 6530, and uh, we do have like the whole package from the old John Deere 6000 series right here, 6020 series, and the price on this is 119,500 euros, I think that's the starting price. You have power output from 125 to 160 horses on the bonnet. And you have like top speed on these tractors of 50 kilometers per hour. You can configure the engines, the wheels, and you can choose front hydraulics slash weights. So we have pictures of it right here. You can probably also get like a front loader since it is displayed on this picture. So before we get into this right here, I want you guys to go ahead and smash the thumbs up. Actually, I think we do actually have like the ability to hit 100 thumbs up on video so I think we should actually go ahead and set that as a goal again I really do believe so so let's get into this right here and let's take a look at the John Deere um, deselect select all and start it up so I gotta say right here I'm on the PC but it is basically the same mods right here it is available on console PS4 Xbox one but I'm on PC right now and basically the reason why is because it's easier to record on it and it is faster to record it. and so when I'm kind of doing these mod showcases it's like easier to go ahead and show them on the PC so that's why so we're waiting for it to load right here and that gives you guys the ability or the time to go ahead and also smash the red button on this video to subscribe to Tubros Gaming HD. So we're in here to actually check it out and let's get into, I think it's available in the medium tractor section and I guessed it right. So 190,500 right here, I think that's the starting price again. I'm gonna take it, uh, are we gonna take it all standard? Yeah, I think so. We're gonna take all one standard right there. And um, you can see that's the 6,620, which is looking very good. I really like these old John Deere's. Oh, front hydraulic, that's cool. I think we're going to take the front hydraulic wheel brand. That's Trellabro, which is on the wheel right now. Let's take the setup. We can take white tires on that. That is sick. That's really sick. I'm going to take one of those right there. That's what we can get. What about mitres? White tires? Ooh, those are really cool too. Let's just go ahead and take one of those. Let's take standard white tires. Okay. Michelin. Michelin. White tires. That's only the only option you have. Nokian. Communal. Trollborg. That's what you have right there. Let's go ahead and take the Michelin in white tires and let's take the 6920S which is the most powerful 160 horses on the bonnet right there front load attachment no we're gonna go ahead and try it out right here so let's get out let's get back and let's get up to the shop we got the shop right now as you can see oh, as you can see right here so they are looking very cool as you might already see i really like like the old 6000 series right here 6020 series and in general i do like we actually have the john deere mods in the game again or not again but in here for the first time of the history of fun simulator really like um this is the first game where john deere actually goes in and that's freaking awesome so that's cool right there let's go ahead and check it out let's take the 6920s let's take inside view of it Okay, <laughs> it's basic right here, you can see that. So no smoke, no poke, uh, actually, but okay, good sound, and the speed is the 50 km per hour, as I said in the intro of this video. So I think the speed is also, it's decent, it's not the best, but it's decent, definitely. And um, I really like Dick that indeed, so uh, that's a cool... That's a cool option, like with the 6920S. 
And let's go ahead and do the test right here, like the uphill test, which I kind of do on all new mods. So let's go ahead and try it out. And you can see right here, this climbs easy, nice and easy, which is really cool. Let's go ahead and just get up to the, the store, because up there we do have like, like a little higher, if I can say that, like higher ground which is pretty cool in my opinion so we're gonna go ahead and try to actually climb this up here which is like for my sake a little bit more special so let's go ahead and do that and you can see again just need traction and it goes oh, 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 oh. and it goes and it goes and it goes and it goes still which is amazing so that's cool that's really cool awesome really and the light right here lots of lights let's go ahead and see if we can jump out again right here oh we hit it pretty pretty hard right there like pretty hard I'm just gonna go ahead and get around. Just like that. And then we're at the shop again. Then we're just gonna go ahead and take a look at the um, the other mods that we do have. Is the light still on when you climb? No, it's not. But I like took all of these like with the front lift. You can also take it with the weights as you saw. But I just took it with the front weights. I thought it was like the best thing to probably go ahead and do. So I just did that. That's the reason why. But um I think these um I think these looks very nice actually. This is the standard one. You can see that on the tires. And then right here on the side we do have like travel board with white tires. Then we have like this, which is Mises, and then we have this, which is Michelin. So I don't prefer any of these tires right here. I think all of these are great looking tires and also like great performing tires, in my opinion. I do actually, on the, the wiggle on my car, I do have like Continental. And I do have Michelin, so that is also like really good. and. Uh, and really nice so um, so yeah that's probably it for for this right now at the moment so it's looking good and looking super fly so I don't know what you guys actually think about this mod right here let me know in the comment section below what do you think about the new Gen Deere uh, 6020 series right here is it great that we finally get like new Gen Deere content in the gameplay let me know and also if you haven't kind of hit the thumbs up yet on it please go ahead and do that because yesterday you actually showed me that we're able to gain 100 likes on a video so I think we can actually do that again I really really do so it would be cool if you actually went ahead and just smashed it again of course again also if you're not yet a subscriber I can see that a lot of you guys who's actually watching the, the videos you're not yet subscribed to the channel so you should definitely go ahead and do that that would be really cool in my opinion so um, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel of course so um, I think uh, I don't know if you should actually take like a closer look on these they are actually like the basically the same tractor like the interior and also the exterior basically the same setup uh, only setup is uh, the engines which is a little bit kind of more powerful on this one right here but these right here is still powerful enough so um, so yeah Let's go ahead and see. I don't. I don't either think there's any. Oh, there's any difference on the uh, the sound, and there is not. There is really not. So um, that's good. Six thousand six hundred twenty. That's good. That's a good, nice tractor. So again, as I said, this is gonna be it for this late evening video this Monday. I hope you guys are ready for the next video which is coming up tomorrow on Tuesday here on the channel. So um, thanks for staying tuned, 
thanks for being here and also thanks for tuning in as always we're gonna see you guys later bye